What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got Quickly spawning here in the top right. His opponent today, Light, down in the bottom left. 662 Dad. I don't know if Light is a dad or not. I'm not that uh knowledgeable about these guys' personal lives. I know that Snow is a dad. I've seen uh, his kids on stream and that, but you know, Light kinda he kinda looks like a dad. He might be. And so, you know, we'll give him the, the benefit of the doubt here. Daddy Light spawning in the bottom left on Dominator. I was supposed to do some streaming today, guys, but I woke up with some terrible back pain. It's my toxic trait. I think that whenever I have back pain, I start to do a lot of stretching. I get really into uh, some yoga and stretching out my back becomes like a daily habit for me until my back pain goes away uh, a couple of weeks later you know I've I've continued stretching I start to taper off uh, slow down on that I don't have back pain anymore so I'm not really thinking about it and then you know a few months down the line I wake up one morning and I'm like oh there it is the back pain is back and I have to get back into stretching all over again because it's it's really really painful <laughs> it is just horribly horribly painful you guys know i've been through uh some injuries i've had a car accident in the past and yeah i just i don't know why i can't do it but i cannot seem to stick with it like i said my toxic trait i'll work on it i'll try to get into another routine here and just try not to break it this time we've got Light setting up his factory on low ground. Kind of a funny spot to put the factory, but I guess, you know what? The probe can't really hit the SCV too well if the SCV is anywhere in this area. Pretty difficult for the probe to attack that. As the Marine comes out, it doesn't really matter too much anymore, but I wonder how this is going to play out with the Zealot coming across the map. Second Zealot is out as well, so... We'll have to see some good micro here from Light. And, you know, Light's really been on top of his game lately, so I'm expecting some really good play out of him. Uh, I've been pleasantly surprised by the way he's been performing in uh, recent tournaments, including the SSL. Wow, some really good micro here to keep these few Marines alive. And he's even going to keep that SCV up. So no losses thus far from Light. Just a little bit of lost mining time. There's the first SCV going down. Might lose a second one. Second SCV falls as well. Good block here with the uh, SCV, but now the Zealot gonna get on top of these Marines. He's gonna take out one more? No. Only one Marine goes down, two SCVs for two Zealots and a probe. Pretty decent defense here from Light. And now with the Vulture out, he should be able to take this without losing anything more. Okay, loses one more Marine. Not the end of the world, though. And we're going to have a Dragoon here in a moment. SCV getting into that main base. Going to have a look here at what's coming. Sees the Cybernetic score spinning. Knows that range is on the way. And so he'll have an appropriate response. Nexus totally spotted. Everything is known on Quickly's side of the map, and so Light can optimize his build. He doesn't need to go for uh, early turrets, for example. He doesn't need a really quick uh, academy or anything like that. With all the scouting he's done, he knows that he doesn't need any extra uh, investment into finding out what Quickly's up to. Or preventing things like DTs or uh, Reavers from getting into his base. He's just completely safe. There's the robotics support bay and you can see he's not even going to build a bunker. That takes some balls, but with the scouting information he's got, he can get away with this. Really can't say how important that SCV scout getting into the main is for Light. He's not even going to start his eBay yet. Still has some time before throwing that down, so he starts another factory. 
We're gonna have a transfer of workers at the same time as the probes. Really good stuff here from Light. An excellent start to this game. Wonder how quickly we'll try to bring this one back. We've got two tanks heading across the map. With some marines and a vulture. Mines are finished, so he's gonna come up this high ground. We've got three dragoons here, but one was kind of out on the map. He's gonna run that straight in and try to bait the... Oh, another one to the south here as well. He baits the mine in and gets the one kill on the tank. Oh god, that mine. All right, mine dealing some damage. Can he run by with the vulture? Does need to target that down. Great block there from Quickly. I think he will finish this off. Well, the vulture does get into the main, but shouldn't be losing too much here. Just gonna go ahead and surround that, that uh, mine with the three probes. Very nice play here. Just making sure that uh, that mine doesn't get set up and only loses one probe. I think this is a very reasonable defense for quickly, despite being a little bit out of position. He had a dragoon down here and he had a dragoon up here. At the start of that fight, you'd love to have all your dragoons on the high ground. He was a little bit out of position. He still managed to block uh, in the natural. He still managed to uh, shut down the majority of that damage and kill two tanks, which is always impor important, impactful in TVP. Early game tank losses are extremely painful, but I don't think it's going to hurt Light too, too bad considering how good the opener was here and how many corners he's been able to cut. He's just now adding on turrets. He's only adding on the bare minimum number of turrets, by the way. One turret underneath here. He might add another one down in the corner. He's got one by his command center. And he has siege mode on the way now. Some mines are being laid down. The third base on the way. Light would like to punish that, but since he lost those three early or those two early tanks. Oh, a run by towards this main base. It's not gonna get into the main, but it will connect one mine onto a dragoon. Getting a few probes here in the natural as well. Pretty good stuff. 37 probes to 44 SCVs. It's a pretty good spot for light. However, getting chased down right now. The observer's in the front, so he knows that there's no mines to slow him down. Now he sees the mines here on the high ground. Siege mode is done, so we'll probably see him siege up here in just a moment. First Reaver is about to pop out. Probes being transferred. Vulture's going to run by as well. Probably going for this probe line down here. We do have two Dragoons. They're not reacting quickly, though. A little bit slow in the response. Probably going to lose quite a few probes here. We've already lost like four or five. Six and seven are going to go down before this is complete. And yeah, wow. Only three probes remain at what was a full mineral line over here at the third base. Pretty rough stuff for quickly. These uh, little run-bys and small pokes and prods with the vultures are starting to add up to something big. None of the uh, pressure, uh, the attacks have actually done anything for light. But the small vulture run-bys have really started to add up. They are extremely painful and quickly is going to suffer because of them. He's already 10 workers behind his opponent. He does have the reasonably early third base, but he's not been able to add on his gateway count just yet we've already got five factories completing in the main so five factories finishing up right as we start these four additional gateways so it is a rough spot more vulture damage could be coming down here meanwhile just uh dealing some damage to the barracks yeah three four probes could go down once again this is really really painful drop into the main base actually kills a tank already these dragoons out here are not going to be able to do much. And the dragoon that was in the shuttle has been lost. We pick up that reaver and bail out. Karam boosters just barely not complete. There it is. It finishes right as the shuttle flies out. So a little bit of an anti-timing there for light. Two more factories coming up. Wow, this is a big commitment to factories. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fact. 
This will be a two base push for sure that's meant to kill. Will quickly be prepared enough to push this back. He's lost so many probes this game. He's been slowed down a lot. Will he lose the Reaver as well? Running forward with the four. Goliath easily picks off that shuttle. And the Reaver's going to take an extra shot with that tank. Jumping forward, killing off the, dra uh, the Goliath. Not bad, but three Dragoons are traded. A third base on the way here. So he will actually get a third base. While the seven factory is pumping. That's interesting. I thought this was going to be more of an all in. But with this CC finishing over here in center left. It's looking a lot more robust. For light. Setting up mines for the counter. The potential counter that could come around the top side. We're adding on more and more gateways now in the main another small point of vulnerability in this main from light and so that will be abused here the reaver cannot get out or cannot get to safety as the goliaths push forward he will eventually take this out not a huge amount of trade here for it quickly not able to trade his uh, reaver and shuttle for too much damage there Nice mine connection. Pretty annoying for quickly to keep taking damage like that. Trying to get a fourth base. Uh, while the, f the third of light is already done. Not a good feeling at all here as a Protoss player. You always want to be a base ahead of the Terran for sure. And so light is just slowly closing this one. He's just... 12 supply behind his Protoss opponent has dipped a little bit behind in terms of the worker count but I think this is absolutely fine we're gonna have a huge amount of army coming across the map here shortly plus one armor is finishing up it'll be a 1-1 timing attack here from light that's meant to do massive damage likely just end this game if it doesn't end the game, well, we have the science facility coming up here. So we can start plus two uh, once this plus one is finished. However, it'll be quite late. And if he kind of botches this attack and quickly easily bats it away, uh, he can start to take more of the map. He can take this base. He's double expanding right now, quickly getting into uh, five bases. As the light is gearing up for this attack. We have Storm on the way. Four Templar and a shuttle. You know exactly what that's for. That's to hold this push. But he needs to buy time for that tech to come out. Dragoon's going to start taking damage here quickly. A little slow on the retreat. Wants to take some trades here. Ooh, one tank goes down immediately. Two tanks go down. Two tanks traded for just two Dragoons. Three Dragoons. Not bad at all. There's a lot of Vultures coming across, though. They're going to be chasing down these Dragoons. As the reinforcements come here for quickly, though. Have to change our tune back up for the moment. Cyanic Storm and Gravitic Drive on the way. One Reaver here to buy that time. One thing I've seen from Light is he likes to push to the middle. And push into a spot like this using these walls to cover his tanks so he'll move into a spot put uh, you know mines down here maybe move one tank into position to hit this but mostly utilize these walls have tanks in these like little corners here it's the way he likes to play this map and i think it's the correct way to play uh from the terran perspective against protoss i don't see a lot of other terrans using the map quite like this not even sharp uh, pushing into positions like this, but this is exactly the way light likes to play a lot of Terran players will try to take high grounds and then push up onto this high ground to contain the natural not light He really likes to hug these walls And it's so difficult to dislodge a Terran player from a position like this. He knows it. That's why he's abusing the terrain uh, in such a way Quickly is setting up for the counter here Setting up to crush this attack. He's got the Zealots dropping out on top. It's going to drop the 
uh, Templar here in the midst of the army to get the best storms that he can. These are some great storms, by the way. Killing off a huge amount of these vultures and lowering that tank count substantially. We should have a massive wave of zealots pouring out of these gateways here in a moment. The vultures need to be sent forward because these tanks are mostly exposed at the moment. Have to shove in. With the vultures before, or with the uh, zealots before the vultures arrive. But look at this. The vultures are going to come around the side here. Can he run into the natural and do a whole bunch of damage? Zealots coming out with the rallies. Going to take this fight from the northern angle. Going to try and just roll up all of these tanks. Oh gosh, the vultures coming in for the snipes. These Templar go down, removing a lot of the potency from this Protoss army. And there it is. He's just starting to poke forward here to get in range of this Nexus. Zealot bombs on some of these tanks. Tanks in the front are much more vulnerable to this. And so that's where he's going to drop. A counter attack is going around the map right now. Quickly going to give up that mineral only base and try to bust in to the center left. How is this going to go for him with the supply depots on the high ground and the floating barracks uh, right here? It's going to slow him down by quite a lot. These zealots are just not really moving. Meanwhile, tanks are coming up here to clear the fifth base. Some Templar coming up on the high ground. Going to storm these uh, SCVs. Maybe storming the Vultures is a good play as well. But he's not making much progress at the moment. Trying to just kill these SCVs. Trying to break through this spot is proving to be very difficult. Some tanks are finally going to come up to assist the position. Oh, great drop here with the Reaver on top of these tanks. Clearing out just small groups of units a little bit at a time while distracting with this uh, counterattacking force. Pretty nice play here from Quickly, but he's going to get trapped. All right, does have some space to back away here just to the north. Will be able to save this army, but at the same time, he's losing a lot. Okay, dropping the Reaver right in the midst of these tanks. That's a great play. He's going to be able to clear out a lot of this, and he should be able to keep the Reaver here just to prevent Vulture runbys killing a whole bunch of his probes. Now, looking at the supplies, Light is definitely uh, ahead in this game. Four, uh, fourth base is now up. Oh, picking off that science vessel as it comes back across the map. Quickly is doing a good job of keeping this game scrappy, picking off small groups of tanks here and there and not being forced to engage with the full might of the the Terran army plus two is done plus three is on the way oh this is mine okay I don't know how that got killed but there it is plus two plus one here for quickly so even on the upgrades but we're about to have plus two finish there it is the armor finishes up as well again just right into this pocket this is how you play Terran on this map boys Light is showing us the way. These walls are so, so good. It is almost impossible to break a Terran out of that spot. Even these little doodads in the middle are pretty annoying for Zealots trying to run forward. Vultures in the top left-hand corner causing some harassment. I don't think this was a saturated base, though. See how many kills on all these? Like, two kills total. So, yeah, not... Uh, Getting a lot of probe kills, but slowing down this base a little bit is nice. We're on one, two mining base. This base about to be mining three, four bases here for Protoss. The long distance mining is going to be insane. It's going to return all the way to the main, by the way. Which is going to take a very long time, but... Light is pushing northward. He is still ahead in supply. And he's moving into position to potentially take out this top left. All the meanwhile, taking this base down here at the bottom center. Again, moving through the middle. Taking positions here that are going to be hard for quickly to break efficiently. Coming in to cut off this nexus. 
A lot of Templar. Does he have EMP? Oh, the EMP is so sick. That was a godlike EMP from Light. Coming in to snipe some more Templar here. The Zealots are going down. The Templar are falling. Army is coming in from behind. This is a pure Dragoon force, though. What are all these units doing over here? Just kind of standing uh, in defense of the top left, but we really need to be worried about this massive push in towards the natural. 1,400 minerals in the bank right now. Need to start some more Zealots because... The tank number is just incredibly high. There's not a whole lot of Goliaths, but there are four, which is that magic number. Great storms here on the back line. Killing off a lot of these tanks with some of these storms. So clearing quite a bit of this army. If he had like 15 Zealots popping out right now, maybe he could overwhelm this. But what he's got is nine Zealots that are on the way, still inside the gateways. Here they go. They're going to pop out. He's going to try for this push. He's got some storms. No, he does not. Zero energy remaining for these storms. Okay, he's got one storm there. Zealot's running up in the midst of these tanks. Maybe he can just barely run this over. Do not target the D-Matrix tank. Oh my gosh. Making a bit of a mistake there. The D-Matrix so good. And there he is. The dad. Daddy Light taking this game down quickly. Not able to overcome this incredible Terran player. I know that a lot of you guys have been uh, leaving comments saying that, uh, you know, Light is not nearly as good or he's overhyped. Sometimes I tend to agree. In fact, uh, maybe half a year ago, I would have agreed with you, but recent results have shown that Light is really practicing hard. He's putting in the hours and he's one of those players who has a very deep knowledge of the game and i think that's why he's so respected in korea is that he really understands what makes terran strong and you can just see from the way he plays this map he understands that the high grounds are important and i think that all terrans uh, who play this map know that these high grounds are super super impactful but this center of the map, I think that unlike a lot of other Terrans, Light looked at that and he thought, wow, what a great location to set up a Terran army. What a fantastic ring of defense that my army would have with these walls surrounding it and these walls protecting it. If we set up tanks in these pockets and around these doodads in the middle and then slowly push to these walls, we can get a couple of tanks in range of the Nexus here. We can force an engagement where the Protoss has to wedge an entire army through a choke like this. That choke is disgustingly small. Even this one over here, if you can wrap all the way around and come in from this angle, it's still not a great choke to try and push through. A lot of your army is going to get stuck on the outsides of these uh, walls here. And, I mean, this even this choke here is not great. This choke here is insanely small. And all the while, while you're trying to force your units through these small chokes, the tanks are going to be raining fire from over those ledges. So, great tactical play from Light. Quickly getting overcome. I'm really a big fan of Quickly, so it's sad to see him go down like this. But Light tactically played it better. Uh, the Vulture raids as well, really impactful. You can see he's getting faster uh, with the Vulture raids recently, taking a page out of books, out of the book of players like Speed, like Sharp, these guys who are really having a lot of good success against Protoss players who typically wouldn't lose anything to Vultures, somehow losing massive amounts of economy to Vulture play from the likes of Sharp and Speed. I think pe people like Light have to take notice of that, and I think they are taking notice of that uh, and starting to put more of that into their play to study that and learn how to get that damage and to stay active with the Vultures constantly on the map harassing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the series here, just a one game from the ladder type of thing. I'm going to go ahead, stretch my back out, lay on the ground, try to uh, work with this back pain that i have right now hopefully i'll be back in full form here 
uh, within the next week and i'll try my best to stick with a workout and uh, stretch routine to ward off that uh, annoying or this annoying situation uh, that i keep finding myself in anyways guys hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you in the next video